felt led to follow Jeff and Beth in their calling. So these are two families who have moved out from East Side to Upton, Wyoming. So I was speaking to Steve Newbauer, and I asked him, hey, how is it going to be different tomorrow? And this is what he said. Until last Sunday, it was four adults who were gathering, which is Jeff and Beth, whom we just saw, and Steve and his wife, Becca, and four kids who are the new bar's kids. They were those who were gathering until that previous Sunday right in New Bar's place where we were sitting at that time. And he just said that we are excited about tomorrow we get to worship with more people. And this is what he said. Even if no one shows up, we are already excited because we have five more of you, which is four of us, two and Isaac and Elizabeth and Pastor Phil. <laughs> That's what he said. And uh, God did bring more people. You know what happened the next day? There were more than 20 adults in a town of 900 who showed up and more than five kids who joined for the first time. It was so wonderful to meet them. God's love is overflowing through many families and community in Wyoming, in Upton, Wyoming, and we are excited to see that the newcomers and the new bowers who love us and whom we love, they are now taking a leadership role in this work, especially to mention Becca, who came to know God, and uh, she was um, still working her way through and thought that how much she would be part of this, but Sharon testifies how she is leading the kids wonderfully now in Upton, Wyoming, Thunder Basin Community Church. So it's a town of 900 people, like I mentioned, and Steve's teenage daughter knows almost every kid in her high school, not just from her grade, in her high school. We could feel the warmth of small community and that small town, and we are blessed to see how our dear brothers and sisters and kids are adding God's life and love into that town and into that community. There's another thing what we have learned. So this is what the first thing we learned is God's love is equally present and equally overflowing in Upton as much as it is in Bellevue. The second thing we have learned is our family, we started on Saturday morning to fly to Denver and then to drive from Denver to Upton. And as we drove to Upton, we were on the highway and uh, we, every now and then we saw some signboards. Uh, you're, you know how in our freeway we see the signboards as um, uh, traffic alerts um, tuned to 5.30 a.m. when flashing, right? So there were similar signboards up there but they just said, um, road closed when flashing, take exit. Sorry, this is Wyoming, no alerts, <laughs> just take exit. <laughs> and it's not, it's not just a joke, like literally right after we reached the town and uh, we checked back on the uh, Wyoming uh, transportation app, the status of the road, it was closed. <laughs> right after we reached. So, you know, if it was closed while we were on the journey, we had to take an exit, and I don't know what would have happened next. So, all that to say, it was an adventure for us to reach Upton, but that's when we learned how the new bowers and newcomers have taken a huge step in faith to follow God's calling. And our hearts really stuck reality um, through a very small example I don't know if it might sound silly to many of us, but this is the reality. When we reached there, and in the next Sunday morning, I was cleaning up the car, and I took the um, leftover Chick-fil-A um, bags into the house to just trash them, and uh, looked at the kids sadly looking at those. And Steve mentioned one of his daughter's birthday wish was to drive six hours to Denver to eat Chick-fil-A for her birthday. <laughs> Having kids, we can only imagine how much they have willfully given up to leave from the luxury of East Side to go and choose a simple life in Upton, Wyoming, just following God's calling. After an anxious Sunday, Saturday of our family and Pastor Phil reaching there, 
Phil's uh, <laughs> flight also got delayed. And then I think while getting back home, they got um, they were facing snow as well driving back. And we had our own adventure reaching Upton. Um, and we had a nervous Sunday morning because we did not know if and how many of new people would show up. It could just be those eight people, like four adults and four kids, like I mentioned before, and five of us who might be just worshiping God. So we, it was a nervous Sunday morning for us on how many would show up, but it was just overwhelming to see God's faithfulness in bringing so many new families to church. And uh, he started by leading newcomers and new bowers. Um, after all the, all the worship, it was so warm, it was so welcoming, Many people were hungry for that Sunday, for that time of worship, and we could see it. And we are so excited about how God is leading newcomers and new bowers to lead that hunger and to um, fill in God's love into that community. And you know what happened, like right after the Sunday is over, oh wow, so many people came, it was so wonderful. Um, all the blessings God has given through the facility, to how much God gave the worship teams for someone to lead worship there, and then um, how wonderfully God led Jeff to share from the Word of God. It was it was a perfect Sunday. We thoroughly enjoyed it. It was time to celebrate. And you know what? Every one of us knew there was only one place to go to celebrate. That's Remy's. <laughs> that was the only restaurant. And everyone knew there was no other place to go as well. So all that to say, my point, our point to mention is you know, they have chosen uh, a simple life so that they have enough time and energy to focus on the larger calling God has for them. I'm sure God is pleased and proud of what's going in Thunder Basin Community Church. Please feel free to reach out to them. Rather, I'd say please do reach out to them and to encourage them, text them, or call them, or, you know, just let them know that you're praying for them and that we love them. We really look forward to someday, God willing, a few more of us going together there and uh, witnessing and worshiping together with them on God's wonderful work there. Thank you.